Good day everybody and welcome back to another mystery unboxing. Today we have a pickled steel knife unboxing and I have no idea what is going on here. I have no idea what knives is in here. Um, yeah, I'm hoping for for <laughs> for one in particular, but um, we'll see. We'll see what we got, right? Thank you all of you from Pickle Steel for sending this to me. Let us take a look because I can't wait anymore. It feels like Christmas and it's a rainy day here in George Western Cape. So let's see what we have here. It's such a nice day to open up some gifts. Right, so here we have very nicely packaged. I like it. I like it. Okay. We have also here some um, stickers, I think. Yes, here we go. Some stickers like these. Go check out www.pickledsteel.co.za because, guys, knives give you an edge. <laughs> okay, so thank you for that. Uh, I like the extras, you know so nicely packaged and this was shipped to me so i do need that you know i need that ins uh, assurance and that's what i've been saying the whole time guys you know um pickled steel they are looking out for the buyer i've received some other packages in the past that were yeah basically just thrown in there and didn't care what happened to them on on the road or on their way to me but this guy he wants you to enjoy the knives right he wants you to enjoy the knives that the company has to offer so yeah I love it. Let's take a look at the big box. Loving the branding. Looks great. Awesome. And if I'm correct, you know, it's only the Damascus knives that come in a box of this size. So I'm pretty excited right now, I must say. Let's check it out. Okay, it must be. It must be because all of them come with a custom lever sheath. And uh, I don't have one like this yet. Right? I like the turquoise. It's nice. It's nice. Let's take a look. We're going to open up the other package right now. We have a microfiber cloth right here and some padding also at the bottom. So that's cool. Like it. All right. Let's take a look here. What do we have? Woo, man, sir. Yes, man. <laughs> Hell on. Yes, yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Now, yeah. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Okay. So this is new. Um, from pickled steel it's a new knife they they just brought out it's the um the goldo yeah the goldo and it means peak right so this is kind of the peak in the damascus line look at that freaking blade 9cr 9cr damascus blade how fantastic is that guys wow mensa damn it that's cool that is freaking awesome and i i really like the look of just a plain wooden handle, you know, without the bolster. I like the bolster as well, but this is something a little bit different. Yes, this way. I'm not quite sure what scales these are. Um, maybe rosewood, but we will talk about this knife in the review for sure. Doing a review on this guy. Woo! The action. The, oh my word, man. The action on this guy is... <laughs> it's unreal. <laughs> Every time. Every time I think like, yo, man, um, probably can't beat an action like that, you know. They just pop out of something new that feels even better. Man, so this is a beautiful thing. Oh, look at that backspacer. How cool is that? That is so awesome. These cutouts here in the, in the blade, I'm loving it. And they are actually functional, you know, can provide some traction. But there's also some jumping here. 9CR blade. Layer Damascus. That is a beauty. Let's take a look at the other package. What I'm what I'm really excited about. Sorry, I just need to freak out about this knife because yes, man. What I'm really excited about is the the dual thumb studs, right? Because on a knife like this, with an action as incredible as this, this is phenomenal action. This is like this is unreal action. I'm almost it is on on ball bearings, but it feels different. It feels I don't know, it's so snappy. So snappy, I love it. Oh, incredible. Okay, let's take a look at the, the, the other knife. Um, yeah, just a quick comparison for size, so you guys can see. Here's the QSP Penguin. We are doing a full review, so don't worry about that. About a centimeter smaller, so around the same size as maybe the Freya. Here's the Akal. You can see the Akal is a little bit, just a tad, like a half a centimeter bigger. Then the Goldo. Goldo means peak. Top of the line. And it's living up to its name for sure. Okay, let's take a look 
at what else we got here. Yeah, and here we have it. Let's take a look. Okay, love the branding. Here we go, here we go. Oh, woo! Yeah. Man, oh man. This is exactly what I was hoping for. It's the pickled steel pen. Look at how cool this knife is. Damn. Yes. <laughs> oh man. Check out this carbon fiber overlay. I'm thinking on G10 handles. So stable. Yeah. Wow, that is beautiful. That's so nice. Yes, man. Oh, loving this thing. And I've been looking at this knife for quite some time, but let's take a look at the blade. <whistles> look at that. D2 pickled steel pen. Beautiful. Beautiful blade. And I like it. It's like this. It's a spear tip, right? Drop point. Uh, it's more a spear tip, in my opinion. Yo, that's so cool. So cool. You do get an extra pocket clip, extra torx bit, and an extra screw. And this torx bit is highly functional. Um, I stripped three of my torx bits, two honey badger torx bits, and one other torx bit the other day trying to man do maintenance on my honey badger. And um, yeah, stripped three of them, and then I went to the pickled steel torx bit, and it handled it all. So yeah, even the torx bit is high quality. Look at that switch, huh? Yes, man, that is freaking awesome. So awesome, so awesome. I love the jumping on this knife. Look at that. That's very functional. Fits great in hand. Nice big pivot. Strong, stable. We have a front flipper and a back flipper. There is some jumping on the back flipper. But the action, <laughs> the action is unreal. It is absolutely unreal. Let's try the front flipper. I'm not great at front flippers. Hmm, not too bad, eh? Yes, okay. You there we go. Just need to get the groove and then you have it. I wasn't great at front flippers until I met the pickled steel pen. <laughs> so yeah, fantastic knife, gentleman carry, hands down, very stable. It feels like this knife can can handle a punch, you know. That is that is the feeling I'm getting from it. Yeah. Very um how do you say like universal, not universal, but functional blade shape yeah you can use this in a variety of things and the stock is quite thick as you guys can see there wow and it sort of reminds me of the nebula where the stock runs thick towards the tip so the tip is pretty strong that is so cool can't wait to do a review on this guy deep carry pocket clip sunken screw sunken pocket clip slightly skeletonized liners that's quite interesting i don't know if you guys can see there but it's got these small little cutouts that's flipping cool. I've never seen that on a knife before. I mean, I've seen cutouts, but not like this type. You know? That's so awesome. Very stable, very light. You know, and it's not the smallest knife in the world. It's it's pretty decent. It's like, yeah. Yo. <laughs> yeah. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It is awesome. That is my hand. That is the thing with fr uh, front flippers. Is Sometimes you get up too high and co catches your hand, so you can't flip it. But if you just drop a little bit, there we go. Okay. The action is phenomenal on this thing. It is truly phenomenal. Great detent, I must say. And, um, yeah, it's not flying out. Like, it's not going to open up in your pocket accidentally. And that's what you need. You need a great detent when it comes to to front flipper. Oh, Beautiful. A nice little lanyard at all here at the back. I'm loving it. I am loving it. I'm so happy with my two new favorite knives from Pickled Steel. I don't know about favorite yet. You know, I need to carry them a little bit. Because Pickled Steel does have some awesome knives. But yeah, thank you Pickled Steel for, for these. I'm going to do a review on both of them. Um, they are fantastic. 9CR, D2. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Guys. Have a knife day and remember that no knife means no life.